welcome to Conquering Mild Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to talk about marking tools between chalk pencils, wax pencils and stencil ideas. You know, I'm going to throw a few of those things at you to help you get your quilting done. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So come on in and we'll show you how this is all done. Okay, in this section of the quilt what we're going to do is we're going to have a smaller stencil, a, a, a thin little stencil and it's mostly this this one is for borders but we can play around with this and make make this a lot of fun now let's just put this like so line this up along the edge now i have these pencils from bohim b-o-h-i-m they're chalk pencils and they come with a whole assortment of different colors and there's a lot of white in this package but right now today we're going to use the blue because we're marking on orange and I want to be able to see what I'm doing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this line over in this uh, stencil right in here now it has little markings in there and it should be this I mean this is just a fun little swirly swirly one and you basically, because it's got these little things to hold the stencil together, you have to uh, figure out where you're going. So it's not difficult to mark. There. Now, if I were hand stitching this and hand quilting this, I would only do a little bit at a time, right? Because my hand's going to take off this chalk, right? So I wouldn't do more than I could do, let's say, within, you know, a reasonable length of thread. So I'm just, here we go. I'm getting the last of this done. There. So this is what it looks like when we're all done. So now we can fill in the little blanks, right? So we're going to just, with our little chalk pencil, any, any line you can't see really well, this is where you go back over it. So we've got some swirls and, and sharp little angles and whatnot that you're going to do. Okay, so that's one border design that you can play with. Now this isn't a border, but this quilt is not necessarily going to be, you know, the standard quilting. The other thing too is you can take odd shapes like this and you can put them you know, where you have them, like, let's say you just wanted to draw the outside lines of these, you know, like you would line them up best you can and just follow along the outside edge to create a pattern, you know, and you move this one then. Once you've got that one done, you put it back and you just go like this, just along here. So we're going to fill this up with odd little shapes that we can follow with this marker. Now, the other thing that I picked up when I was in the States, and I picked this up at a, a trade show, and these are wax markers. So if you're doing a dark quilt and you need something to mark with, you're going to want to pick something that's white. So that white marker will show up really, really well and that baby just irons off. It uh, There's not enough wax on there to, to create marks or anything or stains. And sometimes it just brushes off. So, so I'm going to get finished my swirly little line. And I'll start sewing. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to try and bring my bobbin thread up. Now I've got that whole area marked. And I'm going to try not to touch the area because what will happen is the blue will come off very quickly. If you're doing an area, let's say for hand sewing, I don't do any, I only mark an area that I can do within like, you know, 10 minutes or so. Now, there we go. So now we're just going to go, we're just going to follow the lines the best we can. There's no reason to get stressed out or anything, you know, nice and slow. I've got a 40 weight polyester cotton or polyester thread on top and Aerofill 50 weight on the bottom both in a, a lovely yellow they almost match yeah. 
and my thread broke. Let me fix this thread and we'll get back. Okay, we we figured out why our thread broke, so we're just gonna bring, I brought up my bobbin thread already, and we're just gonna go back, stitch just a bit, and continue on our little merry way. Down, there we go. Yeah, it had caught on itself. I am not really a big fan of polyester, but People are switching over to polyester because they don't provide, it doesn't get as much lint. There's not as much lint with the product. And I'm not sure it's the best. But the polyester thread they make now is quite a bit different than the nasty polyester thread our, our grandmothers and great grandmothers tried to use. And down my little apple core shape, or that little swirly apple core fun shape that I did. Okay. There, now I have to reposition my hands. I'm, it's hard repositioning your hands and not touching any of the chalk. <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know that. Just, you know. So you might want to, you know, think about that when you're putting your chalk lines on. You're only doing a little bit at a time. And we go up and do our hook. Back around. go we're just about near the end okay let's bring up that bobbin thread we think we figured out what's wrong with the the polyester but I have been a cotton snob for years I uh, don't like making quilts with polyfill polyester fill batting and I don't you know I never use polyester thread so I'm I promised myself I will try this to see if I like it and whether or not I get a great effect from it or you know now because I'm using cotton, cotton batting my stitching only has to be every four inches but I like to play around with designs and, and do all sorts of other little fun stuff so this is what we're doing and we just got one nice swirl with a hook in the middle. And you travel along where the binding is going to cover the work. Travel along your tape. Travel out. And now we're done. So there's another big section done very quickly. Let me just let it loose from here, and then you can see. I did a little wobbling, but that's okay. It'll come. So when we flip this over, you see, all you're going to see now in the back is texture. Yeah, all you're going to see is texture. See little curls and swirls and all this stuff right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, because I use blue chalk in my pen, my uh, chalk pencil here from Boehm, you what you do now cuz blue chalk if you iron this, it'll stain, it'll stain your quilt. It'll be permanent forever. So what you do is you just take a washcloth. Sometimes it works better if it's a little damp, but try it dry first and it just rubs off. You just rub it off and there's, you know, very little left. And then if you're going to give it to somebody and wash it, you can wash what you can wash it off. But yeah, it just rubs off and it almost rubs off as you're working on it. So don't mark, don't mark, chalk mark a whole big area, like a huge area. Don't do that because 
what'll happen is by the time you get to the outer edges you can't see what you're doing so but yeah it does it does um, it does wash out so don't worry about it if you're giving this to a charity or to a child you want it washed and clean before you give them the quilt so um, my niece asked how to wash a quilt for the very first time and I have found a tried and true secret recipe you put one quilt in your washer with cold water, mild detergent, and one cup of vinegar. That's it. That's all you do. The vinegar helps set the color. Now, before you take your quilt then and put it into the dryer, check the quilt for running issues, like issues where the, the dye has ran, especially if you're if it's red or blue and wow do I have a horror story about burgundy towels turning somebody's freshly blonde blonde dyed hair burgundy because that that stuff just didn't wash out we had to take her back to the hairdresser they they um, some colors are worse than others for running so you have to be very careful right and if there's centropol and retin uh, what's the other one there that they use for when fabric bleeds to get rid of the 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 dye that's bled and you can pick that up in your grocery aisle uh the laundry aisle in your grocery store the other thing is color catchers now if you've washed a quilt and with the cup of vinegar and you have running you know the 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 quilt is is still wet and you see that the some of the the dye has ran Go to the store, get color catchers, and then keep washing the quilt just with cool water until the color catchers come clean. And the color catchers will take out all your dye, the dye from the what has bled, right? So that's those are two really good tips. But I thought I'd better let you guys know that because in case you're making a quilt and you're like... Some people have other ideas depending on your water, but I find for me, the vinegar, cold water... Mild detergent works great, but and I don't normally have a lot of problem, and I deal with a variety of fabrics and ages of fabrics because not all fabric that came out in the last 20 years is probably die fast. If it's older than that, it might be, it might not be. If it's coming from another country, it might be, it might not be. So you have to be careful. Okay. Anyways, I hope you have a fabulous week ahead, and. We'll see you and talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye. Hello, everyone. Just a quick reminder. This is the quilt we're going to start doing our sew along in the beginning of December 2021. This is a beautiful hand-pieced, hand-quilted. Uh, this is a beginner quilt for hand-quilting. This is also an intermediate if you're using a sewing machine. And we're going to start this one at the beginning of December 2021. So if you're watching this eight years from now, don't worry. It's a free pattern. It'll always remain a free pattern. Um, we had a lot of fun doing this with our students, and we had a very enjoyable time. So if you like the videos, and you like this challenge, and you'd like to start a quilt, a quilt along, comment below, but like, share, and subscribe with your friends. We are so happy that you're back with us if you're a, a subscriber. But if you're a new subscriber, please join. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, you have a great day. Bye.